So we have some sort of rectangular coffee table, blah, blah, blah. But here's what really matters. What really matters is if it is three feet wide, then how long is it? If it's three feet wide, how long is it? Sounds good. Everybody, quick question. What are we referring to when we say it? It says, if it is three feet wide, how long is it? What are we referring to when we talk about it? Right, we're talking about the coffee table. So we want to know how wide this coffee table is. So how long is it? Excuse me, we wanna know how long the coffee table is. So we want the coffee table's length. How long is it? Blank feet is what I'll put. Now, my party people, as we look to gather the information to really make a decision in terms of what we should do from here, let's ask ourselves, okay, if we're looking for a length, is there anything, anything else in the problem that might specify that we're dealing with a shape? Is there anything here revealing that we're dealing with a shape? Yeah, Lavanya, it says, Rectangular coffee table, not just any coffee table, a rectangular coffee table. So we can say from the get-go, right over here, rectangular coffee table, we can go ahead and draw a rectangle right over here. And we can say, boom, this is our coffee table, cool. Now, we already have a piece of information about it. We have two pieces of information about the coffee table. One, we see that it measures 14 total feet along its sides. And then two, it says that it's three feet wide. Okay, sounds good. So what I can say, if it's three feet wide, I'll go right over here and I'll say, okay, it's three feet wide, sounds good. Now, my part of people, if we say that it's three over here, where else does it have to be three? Where else? What do we know about rectangles? What do we know? Exactly, Jonathan across on the opposite side. Remember that the opposite sides of rectangles, they're the same. And so if that side's three, this side is three. So now that we're here, there's that other piece of information that we gotta play off of, because I'm sure this is probably relatively easier than the other piece of information. And don't forget, we're looking for that length. But it says this table measures, and let me change the color here. It says this measures 14 total feet along its sides. Everybody, is that referring to A, perimeter, or B, area? Which one of the terms is that referring to? Rob here says perimeter, Elias says perimeter, Moesha says perimeter, Kendi says perimeter. Okay, so I'm gonna agree with y'all. Yes, 14 total feet along its sides means that if we go all the way around, because here's our length, if we go all the way around, we get 14. If we go all the way around, we get 14. So my party people, here's what this means. This means that if you understand what perimeter means, that we add up all the sides. Again, perimeter, we add up all the sides to get that 14. So what we can show is, hey, this length right here, plus the other length over here, plus the three over there, plus the three over there, that is gonna total 14. That's gonna total 14. Now, this is just one of the many ways that we can solve this. I know quite a few of you in today's class might be able to solve this mentally, but we have to understand the reasoning behind what's going on. Because when we look at this like an equation, we can actually make more sense of it long-term. Everybody, if we have L plus L plus three plus three, we can combine some like terms. We know that three plus three is six, but what is L plus L going to be, everybody? What is L plus L going to be? What is L plus L going to be? Yeah, it's gonna be two L, two of those lengths. So essentially, my party people, if we take away those two threes, so six, if we just take away the three and the three, we can see what those two lengths are gonna be. If we take away the six, everybody, if we take away the six, 
What do we have left? What's 14 minus 6? Help me out. What's 14 minus 6 going to be? Right, that'll end up being 8. So here's what this means. If we see that 2L equals 8, that means that two of those lengths, what we have left here and here, if the whole thing is 14, then these two are just 8. Because we take away the 3 there and the 3 there, all we have left is 8. And that's represented by two of those L's. If two of the L's is 8, what's one of them going to be? What's one of them going to be? Just 4. Exactly. And so the length here is 4. And there it is. And I believe it was written in feet. And we'll say 4 feet. So before you pay any huge amount of dollars or money to anybody claiming that they can help you pass the ASVAB, you should always consider what they offer for free. With us, we're going to be offering our full program for free for a full week. All you got to do is do that right there or scan that QR code and you'll get access to all of our classes, practice problems, courses, everything for a full week so you know exactly how it works and you have the exact confidence that you need to raise your score. Get started now. I'll see you in there.